Hey everyone. Oh man. And I was trying to record that sneeze. <laughs> Dang. Can't believe I fucking got it. Uh hey everyone, welcome to another day of uh day of reckoning. A day of reckoning is upon us. I've eaten 30 pizzas in 20, 28 days, or whatever Papa John had said after he, he uh, said the N-word or whatever to the call, but Papa John's so cool, I feel bad for him. Um, hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's, That's All Funny, where we uh, take the good, take the bad, take them both, and there you have, that's all funny. Um... Uh, nothing's changed really since yesterday. Uh, it's been another day. Uh, uh, I'm just here, you know, trying to wake up earlier, trying to relax, trying to chill. Uh, I don't think I really have schoolwork till the weekend, and I have some interviews this week actually. This uh, person hit me up uh, that's like a video game developer, uh, but not really anything like uh, AAA or anything, just an independent one, and I thought that was pretty interesting. And then uh, this real, this author that I really uh, like, am, am inspired by a writer, uh, this might let me interview them, so I'm pretty interested there. So we'll see about that. But uh, hopefully it all comes together. Come together right now, oh me. I know uh, if you watch the Smooth Criminal uh short film, the. Michael Jackson covers that song at the end. It's pretty cool. It's it's weird, but it's cool, you know? Uh, but the original's pretty, like, uh, iconic, obviously, because it's the fucking Beatles. Can't put on my glasses fucking right now. Uh, let's look at the news. The iPhone 15 Pro just came out and is plagued with issues days after hitting the shelves. And I didn't... I don't know. I didn't really see this coming. I guess I was too distracted by... In an awe with the iPhone, because I saw it playing. Um, what is it? I saw it playing Call of Duty. I saw that they're making Death Stranding for it, and I just saw too that they're they're making a fucking port of Resident Evil Four for it, and I was like, man, like I don't know. It looked it looked beautiful, like. It tripped me out how powerful this iPhone was that it plays Death Stranding, <laughs> Resident Evil 4, and Call of Duty, which are essentially, excuse me, they're essentially like PS4 games, and they're playing it on the fucking iPhone, and I'm like, holy shit, like, that's, that's badass, like, I kind of wanted to, like, I was, I don't, I don't really have any, like, income coming in that that warrants me buying a new phone and i like my phone my phone works i don't like i don't know I don't, I don't need a new phone but i saw that and i was like wow like that's insane but now i'm seeing things about that it's overheating uh i don't know what else I, the the biggest thing i'm seeing is that it's overheating very quickly and then it hit me like oh okay it's still in that same like small body. There's no like extra fans or anything or vents. So it's running these like really powerful technically applications like uh especially video games where they're like real heavy on like you know CPU power and all that bullshit. And it's running them like straight from the device, not from like a cloud or anything. Otherwise I don't know. It it'd be it it would still be cool. Yeah. Sorry. It would still be cool, but... <laughs> I, I mean, you could do that on your fucking Xbox. You don't need a new phone for that or anything. Or your PS5 or whatever. But 
uh, the fact that they're porting like those games is like holy shit, those are badass games. I mean, not badass games, but powerful games. But then they still have the same body of the iPhone. So again, it's it's gonna be plagued to overheat, and I already hear that charging it with the USB C and it being the same size and no vents or anything like that, that it's heating like really badly. And and my phone overheats too every now and then when I'm like editing a video on the phone or or playing a game or doing something like like I don't know because my phone's old. I think I have iPhone uh, eleven. I think I don't know. I forget. No, I'm pretty sure it's at eleven. But yeah, that that's that's something I could just talk about. It's <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. So I don't know if y'all got the new iPhone fifteen. Let me know. But that's, I'm, I might wait till the 16 or, I don't know, till they fix the 15. I don't know. Hopefully they do that. But yeah, I think, I feel like it needs some sort of vent ventilation or something to cool it because it's doing really powerful shit on it, uh, as boring as that sounds. Uh, here's some news. Um, Burner Boy announces I Told Them Tour, and here are the dates. And a person named Burner Boy, an artist, is releasing this album, I Told Them, dot, dot, dot. And he's going on a tour. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, is this really, this guy looks like an artist made up in like a TV show. You know, I never heard of Burner Boy. I have, like, the, it just makes me feel real out of touch with music because I, I listen to the same artists I listened to for a while. I haven't really added new music to my playlist, you know. I sing the same songs I sing. So I feel really uh, out of touch. Yeah, and then I'm looking here and all the advertises around Burner Boy on my ad choices are just uh, sexual, what is it, like disease pills <laughs> so I, I don't know whatever i guess I, I guess that's the music we uh <laughs> this will be the day that i die this will be the day that i die here's another uh piece of news edward james almost day is declared in la county and i mean i like edward james almost he's a good actor He's done a lot of of good shit. Uh, he's got that face. I've always said it. He's got that. Like whenever someone looks like him. And if you've seen his face. You'll know. And I, When someone like looks like him. I go. They, look like, they got that Edward James almost face. You know like real cigar Indian looking. Almost like Danny Trejo. But uh, he's got a unique face to him. That's very. I don't know. I don't think it's like pimply, but it's it looks like he has pimples, you know. Uh, but I did like him in um, Selena. I did like him in. I don't remember Stand and Deliver. I I know it, but I don't remember it. But there was like that drug movie he did, and I can't fucking remember what the name of that drug movie he did was, where he was like a a drug uh, kingpin or whatever. God damn, like, it's on the tip of my tongue. I don't think, it, no, it's not Empire. Empire's good. It might be, no, I don't think it's Empire. And he was good in Dexter as a, like a villain, one of the big bads in Dexter. So that was pretty cool. Even though he, you know, wasn't technically the villain, he was. But, you know, I don't want to spoil it if you're uh, just getting into Dexter, but that shit's like fucking... 10 years old you should have watched it by now <laughs> uh i don't know i'm looking at the news there's really like nothing else uh yeah uh how to schedule media in google meet <laughs> okay uh yeah but i have a like i said a couple interviews uh yeah, and that that author that I'm interviewing, his name is Edgar. It's either Carre or Carrot. I gotta look up his last name, how to say it, because I've heard. I feel like I've heard it said twice, but he's. I don't know. He's an author I really 
uh, look up to f- for years, and it's very cool to uh, interview him. And then uh, he he his assistant said we're gonna interview on Zoom, so I'm like, crap! I only have like 40 minutes, but that's fine. I can uh, crunch uh, <laughs> so many questions in the 40 minutes about a few different stories, and then the shit that he's inspired by, blah blah blah. But we'll see. I don't know. We'll, you know, we we just kind of wing it here and uh, do our best. <laughs> That's all you could ask of of me, at least. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, thank you all for listening to another uh, day of reckoning. Uh, like I always say, uh, you can check out the YouTube channel, youtubecom slash at Lorenzo Ariola for uh, other videos or. Uh, listen to episodes there you can listen to this podcast that's all funny anywhere podcasts are available just search that's all funny uh, if you want to help support the show even more sign up for the patreon patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola where you could uh, basically support the show five dollars a month gets you in everything ad free episodes all that blah 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 and if you want to buy merchandise, check out the website retrohorrorinc.com, which is my buddy's website. So you can either purchase merch officially from <laughs> That's All Funny, or uh, you could commission some uh, graphic art from a great graphic artist at Retro Horror Inc. on Instagram. And then that website is totally retrohorrorinc.com. But yeah, thank you all for listening. Take care. You have yourselves a. Uh, Good day. It's it's Wednesday. We'll make it. We always do, right? Take care. Be safe. Bye.